fellow pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit. And today I have part three of my Vinta Inks collection swatches. So part one featured oranges and browns, part two featured teal and greens, and then now we are going to be covering the blues and the cool grays in my collection. These are some of my favorite colors uh, in general, but I do have both shimmer inks and some heavy shaders in here. I do think if you happen to be a fan of blue or gray, you will definitely find something in here. What's interesting to me as I look through my collection is that I have a tendency to prefer more unsaturated colors, but I loved some of these super vibrant shades of blue so much that I had to add them to my collection, regardless of the fact that that's not usually my MO. So even if you are not one of those people who likes less vibrant shades, you might find something in this part of my collection, just because, like I said, I liked some of the colors so much that I just went against the grain of my norm. Anyway, enough of my babbling. Let's go ahead and get to the swatches. We are going to start things off with one of the gray shades. This is Vinta's London Gray, which is also called Ulap. And this has some very nice shading and also is one of those that kind of shifts from one particular color when it goes down on the page and then ends up being a totally different color once it's dry. Okay, so here is London Gray. Before we get into that, apologies. I know that this section of my notebook keeps going in and out of focus when I'm doing the writing sample, and I've yet to figure out a foolproof way to get it not to do that. So apologies. Uh, but London Gray, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Uh, it kind of has a little bit of both the blue and the gray side to things. Uh, and it does make me think of a stormy London sky. I love the shading that you get here. Uh, you'll be able to see it even more once everything is dried down, but definitely a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, next up is Vinta's Sea and Sky, which is also called Luck By. Uh, this one is a beautiful, bright, but light blue with some gorgeous shimmer in it. Um, it's just a really fun ink that I enjoy writing with in a medium to stub-sized nib.
Okay, you can see that in the places where the ink pools, you get a ton of this gorgeous sort of rose gold shimmer, and it is crazy beautiful. Um, it's a light, bright blue, and again, not necessarily one of the colors that I generally gravitate towards, but when I saw a swatch of it, I just fell in love, so I had to add it. And it's one that I use in medium or larger nibs, but... Um, I have had luck with other shimmer inks from Vinta in smaller nibs, so it might work very well in a fine or extra fine. I just don't happen to have experience with that, but um, I do have that experience with other shimmers from the company. So, you know, just give it a try and see what happens. Um, but otherwise, it's just a great, fun ink, really easy to use, and really quite beautiful. Okay, next up, one of my all-time favorite inks. This is Vintage Aegean, which is also called Armada. This is just a really heavily shading gray ink. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, stunning whether you're using it in an extra fine, in a stub, whatever. Just a really, really beautiful gray. Okay, so here is a Gian Armada. It is a beautiful, beautiful gray. You can see where it's dried down, how it sort of has hints of lavender in it. Uh, but while it's still pooled, it has some green and then just dries down uh, to that lavender shade. It's a really fun ink to actually write with. I always enjoy having this in my pen. Now, apologies for the fact that it's so hard to read my writing in the Kak Kakamori nib. I mean... Friends have told me that you just need to practice, you'll get used to it. I'm going on several months with this nib and I'm still like, it's still a hot mess. So <laughs> we'll see if I switch back to my old dip pens at some point. I don't know. But you can at least get the gist of how this would look in a broader nib. Um, really, really beautiful, like I said, in the fines and extra fines as well. It doesn't really seem to matter, at least uh, for my eye, I still think you get a lot of shading. I still think you get all of these really beautiful characteristics, uh, pretty much no matter what. Okay, next up is Vinta's Vesper Blue, which is also called Bisperas. Um, this one is like a vibrant, vibrant blue with some gold shimmer. It is lovely and totally out of my usual wheelhouse, but this is one of the ones that, like I said, caught my eye and I couldn't resist. Okay, and there we have Vesper Blue, which is also called Bisperas. Um, it's that bright, bright blue with the gold shimmer. There's also a good amount of red sheen in this one, uh, which we won't be able to see yet while it's still wet, but you can see where it's starting to dry a little bit. It does pop in, uh, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I love this color. Um, again, 
not my usual wheelhouse, but so interesting and so appealing that I could not resist. And you'll see, um, I kind of switched up the writing just so that we could see what happens if it's finally starting <laughs> to run out of ink. Um, but even at the end, there's still a good mount, amount of shimmer in there. So it's one that really pack, packs a punch from beginning to end. So definitely keep your eye on Bisperas. Okay, next up we have Vinta's Elusive Blue, which is also called Tandikan. This one is beautiful. You've got some grays going on with some cool blues going on with some silver shimmer. It's just an overall really, really beautiful ink. And you can see this one is just a seriously stunning, stunning ink. So many beautiful elements of gray plus purple. You've got this rosy golden shimmer. Um, this is just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful ink. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, worked well in my fine Twisby uh, Vac Mini. So you can definitely get it in a Twisby fine. Uh, I do like to use this one in stubs just because of all of that shimmer going on, just because it shows it off really, really well. But as I said, you can use it in at least a Twisby fine nib and still have it be a really, really solid, comfortable, and reliable ink. Okay, last one of today is Vinta's Cosmic Blue, which is also called Cosmos. This one is super out of my wheelhouse. This one is a heavy sheener. I'm not really a big sheening ink fan, but I loved the way this one looked so much uh, that, again, could not resist. So yeah, if you like sheening inks, this one might be the one for you. Okay, now this is a cosmic blue, also called Cosmos. You can see that gorgeous sheen, though it does pop more once it's completely dried down. You can also see some beautiful, beautiful shimmer in here. It is quite a rich, rich blue tone, and it does really very much evoke sort of that galaxy vibe, so really aptly named. Uh, also, anecdote, uh, what you did not hear, what was cut out, it was me swearing up a storm because of all of the inks to drop on the floor, um, I did drop my uh, Kakimori nib right onto the carpet, my beige carpet. This is not as bad as, say, a Bay State blue, but it's not good. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens uh, after I set my um, pet bot uh, vacuum cleaner on it and see what happens. I don't know. It might be a beautiful shade of blue for the rest of eternity, but we'll see. Uh, in any case, 
Cosmic Blue is a really, really beautiful shade of blue. Bright, vibrant, rich, very much evoking the whole cosmos feel. Uh, pretty appropriate for the upcoming eclipse. So yeah, I, I think it's a great color. Just don't drop it on the carpet. Okay, so these are the six inks for today. A couple are still quite wet, so I'll give it about 15 minutes or so to completely dry down. Once they're dried down, I'll come back, we'll do some close-ups, and I'll give you some of my final thoughts. Okay, here we are. Everything has had a chance to completely dry down, and you can already see some of these are just stunning. Um, first off, we've got that London Grey Ulap. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful color overall. It does lean into those cooler tones and it shades a lot. This is one I've used in extra fines and fines with no problem whatsoever. It's definitely a wet ink. Really, really reliable and absolutely beautiful. Right below that is Sea and Sky Lakbai. This one has that light, bright blue. You can see even here, even though it's quite a light shade, it's very legible. And that pink shimmer is just really intense, especially when you get like heavier drops down. And even here, you can see that pink shimmer is still showing up. It is really quite a charming, lovely ink. Uh, one that I think works really nicely in spring or transitioning into summer, but I definitely feel like this one kind of evokes that warm, uh, beachy feel. Now, next is one of my all-time favorite inks, like I've mentioned many times, Aegean, also Armada. It's got pinks in it. It's got a little bit of like blue toning and it shades absolutely beautifully. This is another one, super reliable, works in extra fines, fines, mediums, stubs, whatever. Um, I like to use this one just in my extra fine Caveco that I have as my everyday carry. Uh, it just never hard starts. It's just a great, great ink. Okay, can you see this? Okay, this is Vesper Blue Bisperas, and this just has so much going on. So much going on. So even towards the end of that one single dip with the Kakimori nib, you can see that there's still shimmer and, sh and sheen even in that very last line. Obviously, anytime the ink pools, you've got a lot going on, but I love that you don't have to have a ton of ink going on for it to have crazy characteristics show up. Now, if you do like heavy sheening with lots of shimmer, like, seriously, that is crazy. Uh, along with this really beautiful sort of tealish blue ink, this one is definitely a winner. Right below that, one of my favorite shimmer inks, Elusive Blue Tandikan. Just pink shimmer with some beautiful sort of lilac-y gray undertones. This is, this is lovely. Um, this is one that I have used in a fine Twisby nib. I think, I think I already mentioned that. So it will go all the way down to a fine Twisby uh, with no problems. It does seem to have a lot of shimmer, but it doesn't clog. At least it didn't for me. And I really, really like using this one a lot. And the very end. The monster sheener in this group. This is Cosmic Blue Cosmos. That is nuts. Um, it did take the full 15 minutes to dry down. Uh, there is like a bit of rose gold shimmer that you can really see, but the big star of the show is that bright, bright sheen. Um, here you can see, no matter how far we go, loads of shimmer, loads of sheen. This one I have not tried in a fine or extra fine. I don't imagine that it would work in an extra fine. I can't say for sure, like I said, have not tried it, but it does have, in my mind, a bit of a stickier feel, definitely, like like most sheening inks do, in my opinion. Uh, it, it definitely doesn't flow quite the same as the others that are not big sheeners, but it is still totally usable. I've used this a lot in stubs for like headers and things like that. And um, I do think it is an absolutely gorgeous color and I just think it's a really interesting ink. So if those are characteristics you look for, definitely check this one out. Okay, so that is it for my Vinta Inks Part 3. 
you saw, these are some really, really beautiful inks. I am such a fan of all of these shades. Uh, if you happen to have any questions about any of these particular colors, please feel free to pop those below. Additionally, if you have any experiences with these, uh, definitely share those experiences. If maybe you have had more luck with them and finer nibs, you've had less luck. If you've had any experience with some of like the cosmic blues or the Vesper blues in a really fine nib, definitely share those thoughts with other people just because like I said, I don't have that experience. I'd only have it with the broader nibs. So, you know, uh, hearing more opinions is always super helpful. Uh, anyway, thank you so, so much for joining me. If you have made it to the end of this video, you are everything that is awesome. Uh, I love spending this time with you and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye-bye.